Hi, my name is Dan. I work with Simple Green Smoothies and today I want to show you how I'm going to make a corrugated metal raised bed garden. Uh, I've never made one before so it could be interesting but this is, this is I watched a few videos on it, read some stuff on the internet, this is what I'm going to try. Um, and one thing about today's build is that I'm going to try to make it really affordable and I'm not going to be using a lot of high powered tools. I, I have some friends that I can borrow some table saw, chop saw, that, all that different stuff. But I want to try to use it with really inexpensive equipment um, to make it easier for you to be able to make this. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. I don't know if it's going to work or not, um, but we're going to give it a shot. So here's what I got. We just got back from Lowe's and um, over here we have four, or, yeah, four two by fours that are eight feet long. And um, we're going to use those to make the frame of the raised bed garden. This is some uh, metal flashing that is used for like roofs and stuff, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. It's going to be on the side to help attach over here these two pieces of metal corrugated. Um, those are going to make up the sides of the raised bed gardens. Um, and then these, I'm going to uh, make some angled cuts on these so they fit around the top to try to make it have a nice finished look on the raised bed. So I got two of those and then here's I'm, tools I'm going to try to do it with. So I have my over here some snips to cut the metal with. Um, this is my uh, jigsaw that I'm going to use to cut the wood. I'm going to try to make mitered cuts with them which might be difficult but we'll see. Um, these are the screws I'm going to use. This is my drill. Um, nothing fancy. The drill bits. Safety glasses. Um, tape measure and ruler and pencil. So that's what I'm going to try to use to make this build and we'll see how it goes. The first thing I needed to do was cut all the 2x4s in half. And so I had four 2x4s total, which would give me eight total pieces. And each part of the frame, there's a top and bottom frame, would be made up of four 2x4s. And so after measuring those out, I took my jigsaw and cut them in half. Okay, so these are all of my two by fours cut to roughly four feet long. What I'm gonna do next is a, I'm gonna assemble them into uh, frames. So there's gonna be a frame on the bottom and on the top. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. The next thing I needed to do was assemble each frame. And so I did this by laying out four two by fours for the bottom part of the frame first. And I put the end of each two by four up against the other. And then I screwed them in first by drilling a pilot hole and then putting a screw in the side or a couple screws in the side. And so this held it strong and also made it square. And so the, the base of this should rough be roughly four feet by four feet. Okay, so I finished putting together both of the um, frames. That, and one's going to be on the bottom and one's going to be on the top. And you can see them right here. I've stacked them on top of each other to make sure that they're pretty much the same. They don't have to be exact. Um, you know, we're not, this isn't like a table that we're eating off or, or something. But you can see that there's two of them here. And I think they'll be good enough, um, strong enough. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take this uh, metal flashing. I need to cut it to size and then I'm going to stick it in these four corners. And so it's going to be there as a support. Um, and this is, I'm going to take my metal corrugated and I'm going to screw it into here and that's, that's what's going to hold it sort of um, in place. So we'll give that a shot and see what happens. The next thing I needed to do was measure this metal flashing to be about two feet tall. And the, this metal flashing is gonna go in the corner to mostly add support, but also help things stay uh, sealed inside and so dirt doesn't come spilling out of the corners. And so after I cut that metal flashing to height, four pieces total, I then went on to the, cutting the metal corrugated to be the same height. 
And so I cut it this way so that the as the metal corrugator was stacked on top, it would add more support. Then I moved on to screwing in the metal flashing and I screwed it into the bottom first and then we'll move into screwing it into the top next. of truth I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna see if it supports itself seems to <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna take it and put it in the the other frame and hopefully it fits hopefully it's not like all wonky and unlevel and stuff it doesn't need to be exactly level but close at least so here let's give it a shot try sliding this end in first and this might be bent out just a little bit so i'll set it there Bend it in. and it looks pretty good i'm gonna step back and look at it for a second i don't know it looks it looks pretty good after seeing that it all fit well it was time to attach the metal corrugated. And so there was a couple inches of overlap that I could use and that was helpful to keep things, uh, to keep the dirt from falling out as we'd fill it. And so then I screwed it in again by drilling a pilot hole and putting a screw in to hold it tight. So now that my uh, raised bed is made, what I want to do last before putting it in its place is add some trim to the top. And this is just to make it look nice. It's also to keep from snagging on some of these metal edges. So I'm gonna do this a simple way. I was thinking of doing it with mitered cuts with meaning that it would angle at the end and it would look kind of fancy, but I think I'm gonna keep it simple because I don't have a great tool to do mitered cuts with. So I'm just gonna do some straight edge uh, butt joints, I, I think is what they're called. And I've already measured this out, but basically I know that if I center this on the wood here, it's going to have about seven eighths inches of an overhang on each side below. So I want to make this extend seven eighths of an inch longer than this piece of wood over here and also longer than this piece of wood over here. And so I've, I've drawn my line and now I'm just going to cut it. So here's the last and final step. I cut the pieces of wood for the top and I attached them all with black metal screws. I thought it gave it a nice touch. So here you can see the finished product with the top and the bottom frame. You can also see how the metal corrugate is held together by the flashing. And I think it ended up looking pretty nice. The last thing that we needed to do after assembling the whole thing was move it to the backyard. So I asked my wife for some help with that and we carried it around back and set it in place. And here's the raised bed garden just a couple months later. You can see that we have some tomatoes growing. They're getting red and close to being ready. Um, some of the plants didn't work out as planned. You know, the, there are bugs and stuff. There used to be spinach over here. And it kind of was getting eaten, so we just pulled it out. Uh, we have a pepper plant growing here, and then we have carrots growing over here. So it's definitely been an, a learning experience for us as far as figuring out what to grow and how to grow it, but it's turning out pretty well so far, and I think we have some ideas on how to make it better in the future. So thanks for watching.